In the fifth row, car 12S, driven by Shane Carson, and number 77, the driver Ken Harbison. Shane Carson starts uh, in the last row of this heat race. Carson is one of the more well-known outlaws. He comes from a racing family. His father promoted the races at Oklahoma City, Oklahoma for about 20 years. He got started promoting races, believe it or not, when first the JCs asked him to do a soapbox derby and later he got involved in drag racing. Shane uh, came along with that racing heritage and decided he wanted to be a race driver. His biggest wins of his career came at the uh, year-end races at the Eldora Speedway, the $10,000 to win events in uh, 1978 and 1979. Shane, incidentally, has taken over the promoting chores from his father. He now runs Marcar, one of the well-known racing organizations uh, in the Southwest. Always been headquartered in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And Bob, I tell you, they have some of the gosh darndest races down there in Oklahoma City. They run modifieds, and it's some of the wildest racing I've ever seen in all my travels around the country. They run huge half miles on a couple of the tracks down there, like eight at Lawton, Oklahoma, and may even be three quarters of a mile in length. Pace car pulls off of the track in the back stretch. The field begins to pick up the pace just a little down the back stretch. They head down for turn number three and four, and we could have a green flag this time, and we do. Second heat race underway. The number 80, driven by Rick Unger, jumps in the lead off of turn number two down the back stretch. Unger being pursued by the number 44, driven by Dan Lasasi. Here is the completion of lap number one. First three cars are pretty much strung out. It is Unger, Lasasi, and the number 12 car, driven by Shane Carson. Well, Bob, it's a racing surface that is different from what these drivers are accustomed to racing on, and some of them are having a hard time adopting to the hard, slick, dry surface. It's very slippery, and two of our top contenders in this heat race, Shane Carson and Brad Doty, are yet to move into our top four. They have not made the main event yet. And a problem uh, that almost developed up there in turn number four, but the drivers did a good job of holding on to their race cars. Well, that was Doty and Carson. They both chose the same lane on the racetrack at the same time. They're trying desperately to get in the top four. Carson now moving to the high side as we go back up front and watch the leaders complete another lap. There is the leader, Rick Unger. Rick Unger in car number 80 is the leader of the race. Here he is in turn number four, coming onto the main straightaway and completing half of the distance. In second position, the number 44 driven by Dan Mosasi, Mosaski, I should say. And now moving into third is Shane Carson in car number 12. So Carson has moved up into third at this point. Well, Unger is really pulling away from everybody, showing how good he is in a dry track. There's Unger now going to uh, the inside of the cars in the back of the pack, flapping slower traffic as he continues to obliterate the field. Danny Lasaski continues to run in second. Lasaski did a great job last night in his black number 44 in a heat race, holding on Doug Wolfgang for several laps. And we have seven laps completed now with Unger continuing to hold on the lead in that car number 80. Here is the battle for fourth position. And that, of course, is the transfer spot, so it's very, very important. The leader, Unger, meanwhile, in turn number four, broad sliding that car off of the straight onto the straightaway. And completing lap number eight, two more laps to go. The white will come out next time around as Unger heads down the back stretch. And Brad Cody has finally picked up one position, but he has not moved into the top four yet. There's the leader, Rick Unger, continuing to lead. Unger coming down to the final stages of this event. Danny Lasowski continues to run in second position. Shane Carson is third. And in fourth position, they're side by side as they cross the start finish line. It's the number 25 of Cliff Woodward and the 28 of Doty. Meanwhile, the checkered flag comes out, and there is the completion of the second heat race with Rick Unger, the winner. Second position goes to Danny Lasiski. Third is Shane Carson. And in fourth place will be the number 28. 
driven by Brad Doty. So Doty finishes in fourth position and the final transfer spot. I think we pronounce this guy's name about as many ways as we can. We get the official word is Danny Losiski, and he finishes in second behind this man, Rick Unger, car number 80, the winner of heat number two. Well, Unger is another one of the many second generation drivers that competes in sprint car racing, for that matter, for all types of racing across the country. Those of you who are true experts of this sport will remember Rick Unger's, da Unger's dad, Steve. Always drove an aqua and white number 46. Usually had a gold number on it. Steve Unger, who had that Clark Gable mustache and was maybe one of the original outlaws racing out of Garrettsville, Ohio, in the eastern part of that state. We didn't call them outlaws then, but Rick Unger's dad, Steve, did a lot of traveling with people like uh, Ralph Porterson and Jerry Mattis. And again, I suggest perhaps the original outlaw. There's Brad Doty, the guy who had to work really hard to uh, come home in fourth. You can see him checking out the huge treads in that right rear tire. There is Doty in the yellow car in the middle of your screen going to work on the number 25 car of Cliff Woodward. Now, this is lap number nine. The duo was coming down to complete the ninth lap, coming for the white flag. Doty, not intimidated at all by the end of the wall sticking out, really sticks the nose of his yellow number 28 Bowers Cole race car down there. We complete the white flag lap, and it ended there. Woodward would have been the fourth position car, but Doty, using that inertia that he got coming off of the fourth turn banking, takes the wing way down to the bottom of the racetrack and blows Woodward away and gets himself into our feature. Brad Doty finishes in fourth position, and there he is looking over the race car. So we have eight more drivers that have worked their way into the feature race this afternoon. We'll have another 10-lap heat race coming up. See